judgment, brains and maturity to score in a bulk line game, I say that any boob can take and shelve a ball in the pocket. And I call that sloth the first big step on the road to the depths of degrade as a first. Medicinal wine from a teaspoon, then beer from a bottle. And the next thing you know, your son is playing for money in a pitch bat suit. For listening to some big out-of-town Jasper, hearing him tell about horse race gambling. Not a wholesome trotting race, no, but a race where they set down right on a horse. Like to see some stuff up Dan Patch, make it a boy, well I should say. Now friends, let me tell you what I mean. You got one, two, three, four, five, six pockets in a table. Pockets that mark the difference between a gentleman two, two, and the boy. Long your river city youth will be frittering away. I say your young men will be fritterous. Frittering away there, noontime, supper time, short time too. Get the ball in the pocket, never mind getting dandelions pulled, or the screen door patched, or the beefsteak pounded. Never mind pumping any water till your parents are caught with a cistern empty on a Saturday night, and that's trouble. Oh, yes, you've got lots and lots of trouble. I'm thinking of the kids in the knickerbocker, shirt tail, the young ones peeking in a pool hall. When after school, you got trouble. Pumps right here in River City. T and that rhymes with P and that stands for pool. Now I know all you folks are the right kind of parents. I'm gonna be perfectly frank. Would you like to know what kind of conversation goes on while they're loafing around that hall? They'll be trying out Bebo, trying out Cubes, trying out tailor maids like cigarette teams, and bragging all about how they're gonna cover up a telltale breath with sense at one fine night. They leave the pool hall heading for the end. Figure out a way to keep the young ones moral after school.